So it looks to me that you're dealing with a runner who is seeking your forgiveness. This is someone who runs from their problems, their issues, connections, and they're starting to reflect or have the desire to give you the same energy that was given. In so many ways, this is someone who wants your forgiveness. Even though they have yet to truly put in an effort to do so. As I said before, you're dealing with a runner energy. Someone who is used to running from problems, running from self, and even you. I feel this is someone who clearly misses you. Yet I sense this is someone who didn't see the writing on the wall. I feel this energy is going through a dark night of the soul while being silent or distant from you. This is someone who was hoping to see something as a misunderstanding or they're seeing something as a misunderstanding when clearly someone took a risk when it comes to you. This is someone who's not wanting to see something for what it is because it brings them pain. I feel it's painful to feel or even understand that they are not awakened. Someone is unawakened to their drama or the cycles that they are repeating, but I feel they're very triggered because something needs to be done about the things they do or the things that they say. And whether they know it or not, everything tends to run hand in hand. This is why things are repeated. This energy may be stuck in a cycle, stuck in a loop, and this is why they're triggered. Someone is stuck in a cycle of drama and the pain is from being unawakened pretending something is a misunderstanding when it clearly isn't. I feel this is someone who thought that you were going to chase this connection. This is why they're silent. This is why they're trying to believe something was a misunderstanding or you're not seeing them clearly when I feel you are seeing what it is they're doing from a mile away. This is someone who breadcrumbs you, left something very one-sided, yet now they feel afraid or ashamed. Hmm not liking who they see in the mirror. I feel this is someone who is hiding their feelings, trying to manipulate situations through lies, games, strategy. I feel this is someone who is stuck in a space where they believe that creating some type of agenda or a way to get out of this is the way to move when it comes to you, but I feel the strategy is only causing them to get more lost in the process. I feel someone has a lot of strategies when it comes to a toxic relationship or even a karmic connection. As I said before, this is someone who is always manipulating situations and hiding their feelings because they're not clear on how to deal with their emotions. I feel this is someone who wants your forgiveness, yet they really don't know how to ask or seek it. I feel this is someone who is triggered by that. Triggered by the fact that they have failed to make something right with you. Yet I sense these cycles of drama is the reasons they find it hard to get through. Oh. Someone knows that what they have with you is a faded connection, but many of you re barely recognize their energy or their soul. And for many of you, it's due to the fact that this energy is always misled and misguided when it comes to you. This is someone you feel you don't recognize or you never knew them, knew them at all. This is what this energy has caused you to feel because of their actions and their petty ways. Now it seems they could be stuck because of their ego. Hmm. Possibly needing to let go of a false twin flame. A false twin flame or a false environment. Someone is getting the good feeling to make something right but still hasn't made the effort. I feel someone knows deep down that their denial cause this divorce, separation, or divide. This is why they're on a journey of self, just so they can realize the pain that they have caused. I feel this is someone who is on a journey of memories, things of the past, things they have done or didn't do, because the choices they have made has caused them to be absent or rejected from you. I feel this energy wants to manifest, but they're dealing with a lot of inner demons. 3D energy, this is happening in real time. Someone needs to ascend to make it through this. I feel you could be listening to your higher self, doing the shadow work, and this energy is just watching and waiting and still sending mixed signals. I feel this energy is sending mixed signals because they're trying to ignore, ignore what they feel, their intuition, their gut, and this is what's leading them to a space of regret and misery. They always seem to be triggered when it comes to the thought of you. 
This is someone who has a lot of passion for you, but I feel in this last year, things have changed in a very big way, especially when it comes to affairs of the heart. This energy has been wanting to reach out for, to you for quite a while. Someone is wanting to reach out when it comes to the commitment that you once had, the energy, and they're getting all the signs to do so. Yet I sense they're still dealing with something that is keeping them bound or strapped. And this is why you have yet to receive your apology. This is someone who has a lot of passion for you. But there's a lot of silence and distance when dealing with this energy. In fact, I feel this is a past life connection that someone was supposed to really truly focus on and possibly even get it right. But I feel this energy has taken so many detours. It's the reason why they're still unawakened. This energy knows that what they had with you was true love. But I feel they're still stuck in a space where they're still discovering self, reality, and finding out that karma, karma is completely real. I feel this is someone who is having to learn the hard way when it comes to affairs of the heart and the choices they make. As I sense this unawakened energy has led them to all of these mistakes. I feel this energy has done a lot of things in the past to cause you to question their energy caused you to question who they truly are because this energy is always coming out as questionable or suspect when it comes to their choices, their energy, and how they choose to treat you. This is someone who has been lost for a very long time or this energy is allowing others to put a key in their back. But whatever the case, someone's coming to a clear path or a crossroads when it comes to their lies or the fact that they thought that you would chase. Hmm. Yeah, this is someone who thought that this situation was forever. This is why someone was reckless with your energy, always believing that you will be there. Someone thought that you would never turn your back on this, no matter how they treated the connection or even you. But I feel there's a lot of wasted time when dealing with this energy who was always telling lies, tall tales from someone who is always avoiding the truth. For many of you, this is someone who was in discovery on a journey where they're thinking about the past, how this was a faded connection, and how they need to seek your forgiveness, yet this energy is still running, running from their past and running from self. This is why things are completely silent. There's no words between the two of you. And for some of you, no words that truly make sense because this energy just can't be logical about what happened. They are always trying to make this a misunderstanding. This is someone who wants you to believe that you're just not seeing things the way that it actually is. But this is someone who took a risk. Someone took a gamble when it comes to your heart. This is why they're feeling trapped when dealing with this crossroads of making a real choice when it comes to you and even their life. As it seems to me, this energy has created silence or distance by pushing you away just to see if you cared enough to break down the walls they have enforced or put up, which is very senseless hmm. because I feel it only caused you to question their sanity or how they truly feel about you. I feel for many of you, this energy is coming out with a lot of frustration and anxiety. This is another reason they're hot and cold and very inconsistent. Yet their frustration is coming from what is lost or what is broken because they still don't see a truth. Hmm. Blinded by the fight. So it seems this energy was blinded by a fight, blinded by wanting to be right, wanting to prove you wrong. This energy took a lot of turns that caused them to get lost it caused them to get lost in this. I feel for many of you there are a lot of signs to be guided to this twin flame energy between the two of you. But they're only thinking about the memories. Someone feels like you're gonna hold the past again against them. But I also feel like they're getting tangled up in something here. Whether that be the, the journey or the trauma, someone is still not seeing something for what it is. And for some of you, they're doing that by choice. Hmm. I feel this energy was worried about the fight, worried about getting over or getting past you. Hmm. And this is what caused them to get tangled up in a web of lies. Someone wasn't being transparent, even though they truly care. 
Someone feels you do have a key to their heart. They do have a lot of passion and love for you, but they are lost. And as long as this energy is lost and not really knowing which way to go, they'll always be stuck in a space of frustration and anxiety. I feel this is someone who told a lot of lies just so they didn't have to deal with the consequences, but I feel something was definitely inevitable. Someone is going to have to deal with what they have done, and there's really no place they can run. I feel this is someone who is frustrated by the boundaries. They feel like they're tangled up in some things that they can't put aside or let go, but I feel these are just lessons to be learned. I feel this is someone who has a burning desire to have a victory with you, but there's a lot of roadblocks. I feel there's a lot of roadblocks ahead where someone is sitting in an inflated ego or at a distance and wishing things were different. This is someone who feels like they're still linked to you, but I feel they're lost in their imagination, an argument, or some type of connection where someone is needing to do the research, go deeper, and embrace the detours. I feel this is someone who needs to embrace the detours, but they feel like it's too late, too late to change, too late to embrace you or come your way. As I said before, this is someone who has been sitting in the energy of wanting to reach out to you for some time, but in so many ways, this energy feels broken, trapped, and detached. This is someone who is still not thinking logical about the choices they made, but as I said before, they're on a journey. This is someone who is on a journey of self, discovery and for many of you they're being guided to do so this energy is coming to a crossroad when it comes to the risks they take and the strategies that they use to have their way because things are definitely not turning out in the way that they expected someone didn't think that you were going to stand up for self or move on or even question their mistakes or choices but i feel someone definitely misunderstood you in a very big way in so many ways i feel this is someone who just thought things would never come to this and now they're starting to understand they can't run from something that was faded something that was supposed to be faded but something that they did constantly or said repeatedly caused things to change when it comes to you whether that comes from lies or deception or just being untrue to you someone causes to fail because they were truly unawake unawakened to their choices now someone is at a crossroads for the risk and deceit Wow. And greed. Because they made something final. I feel something was made final when it comes to someone's greed and deceit. Someone definitely thought the grass was greener on the other side, taking what you gave or endured for granted. Someone was definitely blind to their own deceit. But I feel their greed and selfish ways of thinking they could do better or have more caused something to be final. There was a decision made here, and many of you are just standing on it, and they didn't expect that. This is why they're feeling trapped, locked out, on the outside looking in when it comes to your energy. Yet I sense it's not because you don't care, it's because your hands are tied. You're powerless to someone's own greed. You're powerless to their potential of always screwing something up. Many of you are, have just been pushed to the limit when it comes to this situation. And what I'm getting here, many of you have walked away not looking back. What's done is done. I feel this is someone who can be very arrogant, always chasing a thrill. But I feel this arrogance has only caused a lot of destruction, tower moments, harsh endings. I feel there's a lot of chaos and upheavals when dealing with this energy. You're not wanting to lose self in this situation, so many of you have had to move on or ignore this energy as a whole. I feel this is someone you've had to ignore because of this victim mentality or this energy trying to provoke something out of you. But I feel this energy is destroying things and playing the victim because it's a pattern that they're used to. I feel this is someone who tried to control something through bad behaviors. This is, this is why this energy thought that they could put up these walls to force you or provoke you to break them down. Just so that they can feel that you care. But I feel many of you are just tired of the games. And you're ready for true, authentic energy. Energy that many of you feel they don't have. I feel something was made final. 
because of the history, the cycles of a situation where there's a lot of betrayal, abuse, trauma. Many of you feel bullied by this energy because this energy went so far because of how much they knew you cared. But this is someone who loves to control, loves to test the limits. And this is why they put their guard up for you to feel the need to break the walls down. I feel this is someone who has a history of sabotage, controlling things. This is patterns of greed, deceit, and arrogance, where someone is always crossing the line or getting the wires crossed. Whether that is intentionally or without intention, someone is always holding back and, get, and ignoring your emotions and feelings. Uh, this is someone who is very inconsistent, misleading, because they were banking on something working out for them. Someone thought that they could just love bomb you or give you some type of apology to make things right, but many of you are not accepting an apology that you feel may be inconsistent or misleading. This energy is always doing something repeatedly and you're tired of being ignored, especially when it comes to your emotions and how you truly feel about them taking advantage of their position. As I said before, this is someone who is banking on getting away with something or you just looking over something, ignoring a truth. And this is why someone is always disappointing you, disregarding you, or even abandoning the connection. Many of you just had to cut this off because they are never really giving any effort. This is someone who wanted you to be misled or undecided, stuck in a space of questioning everything when it comes to this connection or commitment. I feel over time someone is now realizing there's unfinished business when it comes to you. I feel there's unfinished business because someone wasted time accusing you. Wow. So I feel this energy did a lot of questioning you or rambling on. This is someone who feels like you should have explained yourself, possibly alleging a lot of things, but this is someone who restricted self. There was no boundaries when it comes to this energy, yet I feel this is someone who gave no effort, but now is sitting in regret for wanting their freedom. I feel this is someone who is now receiving karma. This is why they're on a long journey here where there's a lot of unexpected tragedies and losses. This is someone who wants validation, but they're going through a storm. But I feel this storm is adding pressure Pressure to have more values, more concern about others, or just more authentic when it comes to life and choices. But someone's values and choices and energy is definitely under pressure in this storm where someone is going to have to find or seek direction for themselves. I feel things are stagnated because there's a lot of detachments. There's a lot of hurt here. And I feel that goes both ways. But the fact that you stood up for self, someone is now questioning their thrills and even their ego. This is a player energy or someone who is always playing games. Many of you may even feel like they need some therapy to get through this. But I feel someone just always acts out of impulsion. Someone is always thinking too quickly. And this is why they're on the outside looking in and just watching through temptation. But someone should have never avoided you. I feel someone was not wanting to face you because they know what they did had no truth or any type of foundation, but this was someone who was sitting in their ego, being very arrogant about their weaknesses and temptations, but I feel you standing up for self definitely blindsided them. Someone didn't see you in this light or never saw you like this, and now they're in regret for putting you in this position or causing you to take a stand. I feel this is someone who is very selfish never really being logical about their decisions. They're very impulsive and also losing their identity in this mess. This is why you barely can recognize their energy or their soul, but I feel these trust issues definitely brought on a completion. Something is finished, there's no closure, but I feel there's also an end to an era. Something had to be done when dealing with this energy who is still on the prowl, even if they're in a relationship, but I feel this is their comfort zone when it comes to arguments, secrets, and tension. I feel there's something from their childhood or their past that they're needing to deal with, yet this energy is 
in hermit mode still dealing with their misery. This energy can be very cold and angry right now. There's a lot of red flags because there's some toxic energy surrounding them, but something is inevitable when it comes to their energy, their choices, and even their guilt because they won't be able to mask their pain for long. And without being able to mask their pain, they're going to have to deal with this third party and these insecurities. And even the fact that they are always sabotaging because they're coming out as a bit scorned. I sense what has scorned this energy in life has nothing to do with you, but I feel you're getting the brunt of it. And this energy it could be under pressure when it comes to thrills and attachment because someone is realizing you may no longer be waiting. And time has definitely been wasted. I definitely feel this is someone from the past or even a present energy who failed to honor or protect what they had with you. Who just might be finding out their actions, words, and consequences run hand in hand. Your silence and, and possibly even your absence in their life is the result of their, their words, things they did or didn't do. Where it seems a lot of the small issues and problems eventually turned into even bigger issues. This is why many of you are sitting in a space where your hands are tied. There's nothing you can do about this situation and this person, this energy is going to have to move with intention. Even though this energy is under pressure, this energy also knows deep down they're gonna have to come your way to make this right with you. You're no longer fixing things and they know it. Here's the fact that your love has always been big and strong. This energy was always banking on the fact that you were going to eventually fold or give in because you missed them. Someone wanted you to question yourself. They wanted you to question everything that you thought went wrong. Someone just wanted you to look past things and invite them back into your life. I feel this is someone who pushed you to, pushed you away in a lot of ways. Misleaded this connection and they held back. But it's because they wanted something that was unreachable. Hmm. But I feel their deceit and arrogance is also causing them to go through all of this misery and pain which I sense there was no cause for. Let's get some more energy here. I feel this energy is going through a lot when it comes to the pressure of their problems or issues. As it seems, this energy is still sitting in a space where they thought something would go their way. Yet it's clearly out of control. And as I said before, out of your hands. Let's get some energy on what they're thinking. Hmm. So, someone definitely knows the chemistry they had with you was true and authentic, but someone still chose to play with your energy because of their arrogance. Someone definitely took you for granted, and in this space, in this time, this energy is definitely regretting the fact that they ran from you. I feel this is someone who misjudged you, playing these cat and mouse games. Because they feel like something has now backfired because of their insecurities. As it seems, you being unbothered or unshaken by their choices has caused them to question the distance between the two of you. And some are still operating out of ego and insecurities to even acknowledge that they truly need or even want you. Yet I sense they've made it so difficult to invest trust even understand their energy. Many of you are finding it hard to be real with someone who has yet to be real with themselves. I feel these insecurities are definitely holding them back, causing them to feel trapped and feel like they can't make something right with you. They're wanting to mirror your energy and send the same love back your way, but I feel many of you just don't trust them. This is why they're too ashamed to look you in your eye or even your face because the trust just isn't there anymore. I feel there's a lot of trust issues, self-sabotage, and this is why someone is afraid to come back, even though this energy has been thinking about reaching out to you for some time now. This is someone who is living life the way they feel others expect them to, and this is a coping mechanism so that they feel they are fitting in. Hmm. But I feel this is someone who is getting all the signs. They're everywhere to come back to you, make things right with you, or even acknowledge their own pain. I feel this is someone who is filled or overwhelmed with obligations, or even 
ending a karmic cycle. This could also be a friendship or family or something that they desperately need to let go of. But someone is still sitting in a space of insecurities, not really knowing which way to go. But I feel this runner energy is about to see something for what it is. Say they know without a doubt that they should have appreciated you. I feel like this is someone who didn't appreciate what they had until it was gone. Now they're going through the motions, trying to figure something out, still trying to hang on, but also release some things that need to let go, be let go. This is why they're on a journey, a discovery. Uh, someone is definitely sitting in a space of regret because they know they never should have made these choices when it comes to you. This is someone who wants to start over. They want to know, can we talk? Can we work this out? This time I won't blame or try to shame you for what you had to do. But many of you are just looking past the fact that they miss you. And you just feel like this is all a trap. It's all a trick, a Jedi mind trick. Wow. This energy knows they should have respected you, but they feel that time is up. They feel like they're going to miss you and they're just going to have to deal with it. This is why they're just going through the motions and trying to be who everyone believes they should be. I also feel this is why they are making the wrong choices because they're not following their gut. They're not following their intuition. And this is why it seems they're always getting lost when it comes to you. I feel the wires are always being crossed here. There's some mis communication or this energy doesn't know how to express their emotions well and this is why you're always leading the conversation or feeling like you're having to push this person in the right direction i feel that's what they're expecting this is why there's no effort someone is so used to you fixing things but as i said before you're not fix fixing this and they're starting to realize that oh. let me pick up that card there were messages here. This energy definitely wants to make an offer towards you, but things are frozen. They feel like they've been eliminated and they definitely want to call. I gotta pick up the other card. <laughs> yeah, but you've protected yourself. I sense many of you may be protecting yourself, your energy, your light, your aura. Hmm. There's some type of shield around you, especially when it comes to some type of divine intervention. I feel there is guardian energy protecting you as well as ancestors. This is why your aura, your energy is definitely protected. As I said before, this is someone who wants to hear from you. They want to talk, but they feel blocked. This energy could be blocked energetically or truly blocked from reaching out to you. But I feel something is being revealed when it comes to a confession or a truth where there is no words that have been spoken. I feel someone knows that they need to make this offer level up, do the right thing, yet they're also dealing with a lot of damage they have caused within self as well as those around them. As it seems they're starting to realize they didn't get away with anything. I feel this is someone who thought that things were simple and you were doing things the hard way, but I feel there is nothing easy about love or loyalty. This energy just needs to be more committed to doing it the right way. Uh, this is someone who can be very reckless, but they're watching. Still wanting to get away. Someone knows they should have just chose you, but now they're feeling like they've been cursed. There's some type of hex on their life, but I feel it's just their very negative mindset. You know, there could be some children involved. That is not for everyone, but someone's trying to hold on to the faith. They are regretting the fact that they ghosted you. But someone is wanting to be single. They're wanting to be attached to something real. And they're regretting the fact that they didn't tether themselves to you. This energy could also be up at night. Feeling like you're blocked. Your, your heart is locked. And this union may never happen again. But I feel someone is needing to do the effort. Make the work happen. And pursue you the right way. Someone definitely wants to beg or negotiate. Someone wants to work something out after taking a really big risk because they're starting to realize there is no reward for how they treated you. This is someone who dismissed you in a very big way, hmm, ignored you, disregarded your, your words, your energy, your love, and they know they did it all for the wrong reasons. Now they're uncertain. 
because they know they need to make a, a decision when it comes to a confession or just telling the truth. If this energy is so lost, they're truly lost. This energy is so lost and triggered that these secrets are just overwhelming. And I also feel there's outside influences that are giving them bad advice. There are other people involved, third party energies, manipulation, and a lot of secrets when it comes to an illusion. I feel someone is in deep regret for being a dick or triggering you. Someone definitely feels triggered by dismissing your actions or what you told them, because whatever you told them, it was definitely true. Someone is triggered by the pain. They know they went to the depths of this. Someone took this to hell and back. Someone knows they went to the extremes by being harsh or just cutting you off. Someone knows they went to the extremes when it comes to the drama and the conflict clashing with you, creating problems, being a drama queen or king. But someone also knows they did a lot of things that are unforgivable. For many of you, you feel like this energy was intentionally being vindictive towards you, but I feel this is someone who's just used to doing things the hard way. This is someone who wants to escape. They want to hide from the judgment, the shame. They want to escape what they put themselves through, but I feel this is someone who's going to have to go through it to get through it. There is no easy way out of this, especially when it comes to lust and weaknesses. I feel this is someone who is regretting the fact that they put you in this energy because they have no clue how to get out of it. This is why they're making excuses and hoping you reach out first because they have no idea or no clue what to say to you. Not after all they've done. Because this energy knows they did the most by pretending and wearing this mask. I feel many of you have a lot of proof. Hmm. There's confirmation here, even if this person didn't speak a truth. I feel you have a gut feeling that you know enough to move on or put this energy at a distance for them to find a way to get it right. I feel this energy wants to be validated, validated by you in the worst way, but they're also trapped in the memories or reminiscing or dwelling on the past, while many of you are trying your best not to look back. This is someone who did a lot of things in a very vindictive way. This is why many of you are scared to give in or trust because this energy has blindsided you before by denying the truth or not standing up for self. But someone knows they disregarded you and only shamed themselves because they're starting to feel like a clown. Someone knows they clown themselves, things are not the same, and this is why they feel stuck, locked down, captive, and trapped in their own shame. Someone is definitely trying not to give in to the guilt that they know that they feel. And this is why they're triggered and lashing out. Because it's just like deja vu. It's all happening over and over again. I feel there's deja vu because this energy has a history of letting you down or doing the same things. That's only made them an empty shell. Being boxed in and taking you on this roller coaster that seems to never end. I feel this is someone who has wasted a lot of time, who is now going through a dark night of the soul. This is dark shadow work where someone is facing their inner truth and seeing things for what it truly is, whether that is their own true polish or even yours. But someone is also knowing they are deeply toxic. Toxic and needing to grow and improve in the worst way. This is why many of you are completely done moving on, ending a cycle, because the lesson is learned. I feel the lesson you have to learn in this situation is definitely sitting in your core where many of you are understanding understanding what you've been through and others you're still under trying to figure it out. I feel this is someone who caused you to step away or move on because of the risk they chose to take, causing something to be broken or final. But I feel something being broken or final is the justice. And for many of you, something had to be broken down to be rebuilt. Yet someone is still wanting to anchor themselves to you. Because they're holding on for dear life. There's a lot of gossip surrounding their lustful ways, their jealousy. There could be jealousy surrounding them. And this is why they're still toxic. But many of you have enough proof. Even though you don't know everything. And trust me, you don't know everything. Yet this energy is white, waiting and watching 
hoping for an opportunity. This energy wants good luck or victory when it comes to you, but they're still needing to go through something here. Someone is needing to go through something and they feel like this time wasted, the time between you two is just a curse. They feel like someone has put a spell on them. Someone feels like you don't see them the same, the innocence is gone, and they should have been in the present when indulging or giving in to you because they had some type of obsession, a fear of missing out, and they gave in to their own weaknesses and temptations. I feel this is someone who is tired of the games, the process, the hate, the jealousy, the gossip, but they're not doing much to do anything different, but this is attached to them not having the tools to fix this, which is ironic because this energy is always finding a way to break it down. I feel this is someone who is sitting in some very nasty behaviors where many of you feel like they're just poison and others you just know there's something left, there's some type of good left, but many of the things they have done are very toxic or just unforgivable. I feel the denial and conflict they created has caused a lot of pain, not just with you, but even with self and others around that are very innocent to the actions, had nothing to do with what went on, but this energy was too clueless to see a truth. Yet I sense the memories and the losses they have taken has caused them to feel they have unfinished business with you after pretending not to care. Yet I also feel making you wait or causing you to feel pushed aside eventually pushed you to give up or move on causing their return to only feel like another opportunity for them to just disappoint you or get it wrong again however i feel if this energy comes in with the wrong intentions they'll eventually lose you for good but for most of you they won't get close enough to disappoint or hurt you again I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and